beauty of New Hampshire. That evening, they surprised us with two puppet shows, one on Trees Not Towers and the other on how the Weeks Act had resulted in the White Mountains National Forest, a region dear to them as to their great-great-grandfather, John Wingate Weeks. If young people like them can hear the significance of what is at stake, then surely responsible adults across New England, including the intended customers for the Northern Pass, can too. Just like the Woodstock selectmen in 1900, we in 2012 must advocate individually and collaboratively for the public good. Any project which has the potential to negatively affect an area such as the White Mountains National Forest that so many worked so hard to assemble and conserve over so many decades must be held to the highest standards of scrutiny and accountability. It is incumbent upon all U.S. citizens to study what's proposed and to express their views in writing. At his funeral in 1926, John Wingate Weeks was eulogized as follows. Men of his caliber are like great forest trees. We do not know their size until they are down. Let us hope that those in a position to do so will ensure that the public lands of the White Mountains National Forest itself do not suffer the fate of the great forest trees of the past through the agency of an ill-conceived private utility project. How could we as citizens forgive ourselves if we realize too late what we have lost, perhaps not to be reclaimed a second time? Thank you.